What's up everybody? This is Norton English and today I want to talk about the mind-boggling series Dark and Time Travel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Norton English Show, episode 2. I'm having a super exciting moment. Yes, this topic, time traveling, has been in my mind for like ages. But first things first, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can get the latest videos. And if you want to watch the second part of our show, you can follow us on Spotify. Yes, now coming back to my story. Where was I? Ah, yes, time traveling. Well, it has been in my mind for ages, like I said. Uh, when I was a teenager, I have like watched movies, I have read books that included this theme, and it were like they were really important for me. Like I remember uh, the Terminator in 1984. The movie talked about this robot that came from the future to like destroy someone that would be the savior, right? It was played by. Arnold Schwarzenegger, yes. The, 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 the next year, right, the, the, a year later, um, Michael J. Fox played Marty McFly in Back to the Future. That was amazing because his friend Doc had uh, a DeLorean that was a time machine. That was particularly interesting, right? A DeLorean. I loved that car. Now, I also remember, and this was like probably one of my favorite movies, Interstellar, in 2014. Uh, Matthew McGonery played the role of a pilot who later became a, um, an astronaut. And he had to try to save Earth from the drought and the climate change. And they have been having problems with this in, on Earth. And the thing is, they found a wormhole. What is a wormhole? It's, a, it's like a tear in the fabric of space and time where you could travel maybe to another place, like um, the next star or a galaxy or something, and maybe come back and forth in future and uh, in, in travel through time. That was amazing. It was, an, it was an amazing movie because many scientific theories are there, like string theories, like wormholes and black holes. There, some are not theories like we know of the existence of black holes already, thanks to you know uh, Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking. We're gonna talk about this in the second part of your of our show. If you wanna if you wanna get some uh, if you wanna get a little more scientific, I would say. So, but now the trendy thing is the, everybody's talking about dark this time travel conspiracy theory that is getting. To people. Why is that? Um, the plot is particularly important, right? The plot, the narrative, the complexity of the narrative is interesting, is like really tough to follow. Because this is it. Um, it's the, the, the series talks about how these um, time travelers, I hope I don't give you any spoilers here. If you haven't watched this show yet, and I, um, I would say you should like do it, right? Because it, it's really interesting. I really recommend it. So, uh, but I won't give you anything that like you wouldn't uh, like know like right away. So the point is, these people, these time travelers, they live in the city of Winden in Germany, and uh, the, the, it's really it's specifically important because the the way they interact with the younger version of themselves or their parents and, and all of that creates something amazing right the the complexity of the plot is really absurd so you kind of need like a map to understand this series it's, I, I i really recommend it so what is what is the point today i want to ask you what this question let's imagine it's possible to travel through time. And I give you an opportunity, one opportunity, just one, to go back to the past or go forward 
to the future, what would you do? Would you go back in time? Would you come back to, to the past? Or you go to the future? You would see what is going to happen in the future. What would you do? Let's think about it. Let's think about it. You would say, oh, I would like to come back, Norton. Why is that? Because you would like to visit someone you lost. To visit a, a relative, uh, your parents. I don't know. Someone who was important to you. You would like to come back and say how much you love them. Yes, this is a really interesting point. I don't know. Maybe I would say I would like to see how it was in ancient Egypt, for example. I would like to come back and see how the pyramids were built. That would be fantastic. Or maybe uh, in the dinosaurs era. I would like to see the, uh, the great asteroid that hit Earth, that collided with Earth, and see like all of that happening. Did it, did it really happen? Like I would like to know. This is, this is something interesting. Um, but then you could say like something more personal, like I would like to see my, myself, the younger version of me, like right there to see my childhood again. Like it would bring back some interesting memories. And maybe I could bring some interesting facts from the present, like some lottery numbers. I would love to have been a millionaire at a, a younger age. That would have <laughs> helped a little. Well, but I could also say that this would be boring. Boring! You already know your story. You know history. Why would you like to live that again? Why don't you go to the future then? That would be entirely new. So, this is interesting. If you could go to the future, you could see with your own eyes all the advances in technology. Imagine the, the cure for diseases, flying cars. You could see everything. Imagine traveling a thousand times in the future. A hundred would be already amazing. But imagine a thousand years into the future. Okay, there's a problem here. What if our world didn't exist at that time? If we had like a war or if a, an asteroid had collided with Earth and you couldn't come back. If we were living in a nightmare, I would prefer to stay here, maybe. But it would be definitely interesting to see our grandchildren like growing, someone you don't even know it existed. I would like to see them. So past or future? What would you do? Would you go to the past? Would you go to the future? Write down, comment below. What would you do if you had a chance to travel through time? Um, if you want to watch the second part of the show now, go to Spotify. And I thank you for watching our show. I was really, really excited to talk about this with you. So, I guess... See you next time. Bye-bye.